episode long, we've been taking you to some true Chicago originals. Now, you might be thinking we left one place off the list. But on this very spot in 1963, a man named Dick Portillo opened up a hot dog cart that would change the face of Chicago. Our viewer James said it best, Portillo's is king in Chicago. Not one place beats them. James, uh -huh. we couldn't agree with you more. 69, time to dine. This is something a little different for us. The two of us are usually never together, but I just have to start with my excitement. I'm Chicago girl, born and raised, so I've grown up as a baby on Portillo's. Good. So how many years have you been coming to Portillo's? Um, probably since I was like eight. 15, 20 years plus. <laughs> I've known Portillo's since I was a kid. I mean, we would do it every weekend as a family. The hot dogs, the beef sandwiches, the cheeseburgers. I mean, I come here every day. Number 60 to go, 6 -0. Dick, Villa Park is synonymous with the beginnings of Portillo's, right? That's correct. April 5th, 1963, I was 23 years old. My wife was 20 years old. And it all started with a 6x12 trailer, about 50 feet or so. 100 feet from where we're standing right now, no running water, an $1,100 investment, and a dream. Are you willing to go back to your original doghouse days and make hot dogs with Brittany and I today? Well, I, I tell you what, I'd be glad to do it, but I'm not nearly as fast as I was then. <laughs> and I'm out of uniform, and the uniform wasn't like this. Hey, so. he looks good. The man looks sharp. You should learn from him, too. All right, Dick, we are going to make the classic, traditional Chicago-style hot dog. All right. All right, you you lead us through. We're you following your lead. start off with mustard. Lead. You go from one end to the other. Same thing with the relish. The next one, you take onions. The onion's very important. You don't want onion that's too strong. Then you take the tomato. I like to have the really ripe red tomatoes. Now, this is extremely important. This is celery salt. Then we put the pickle on, and we finish off with sport peppers. Ladies and gentlemen, we present the Chicago style hot dog from Portillo's. Hot dog! Hot dog! Hot dog! Duh. Let's go eat! Oh, a wise guy, eh? <laughs> Could there be anything more Chicago than sitting down at Portillo's for a hot dog with Dick himself? I know. Let's dig in. That snap and then the juices, the spices just flow into it. God oh, bless yeah. America. That's all I can say. God bless, God bless, God bless Portillo's. Portillo's. I couldn't imagine Chicago without Portillo's. It only took us 250 episodes just to get here. Guys, it's kind of it's kind of bittersweet because this this is Britney's last episode of Chicago's Best. And Don't Brit, say that. You're really <laughs> Brett. We love you. We we wish you the best. Thank you. Come back and visit us. You're welcome to free lunch on Dick <laughs> anytime. And thank you to all of our fans at Chicago's Best. Uh, it's really been the most fun. I couldn't have asked for a better place to be. So thank you guys for watching us all this time and for all your love and support. Good all right, luck. it's Good time luck. to eat. Can we eat? We're cheese fries and cake. Okay. <laughs>